Hi guys and welcome to Astral Screen Unity and we're actually kind of rebooting the gameplay because I managed to delete my old save, fi save file and now we're actually gonna con replay the story and you can see all the cutscenes and all the shit. God, I love this game. Is not lost. The past lives inside us. Encoded in the double helix are the experiences of our ancestors. After three decades of research, our engineers have forged the cutting edge of biotechnological interfaces. We have unlocked the lives of our forebears. We have opened a window into the past. This is Total Immersion Entertainment. With the press of a button, you will experience the most pivotal moments in history. All from the comfort of home. Welcome to Helix. And welcome to Assassin's Creed is your Unity. Playground. The tragedy of Yukas the Molai, murder in Levant. I think that's Altair. Uh, the Emperor's Shadow. This is the God. That's Connor Kenway. Uh, that's Edward Kenway. Haven Kenway. It's Yaritore. Rodrigo Borgia. Uh, Aveline. I have no idea. I have no idea. No idea here either, but let's start up. Let's uh, screen you into guys. Last of the heroic Knights Templar, Jacques de Molay was a man of principle, a towering intellect, betrayed by those he trusted. In this episode of Fallen Heroes, experience Jacques de Molay's final tragic hours through the eyes of one of his closest friends and advisors. <laughs> Oh, yes, 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 yes. I waited so long to actually show you all the cutscenes and so on, so this kind of, this is awesome. I waited so long time. Paris, France, the 13th October, uh, 1307. Who goes there? A friend of the temple. Floirac, the council's message was absolute. You're not welcome here. I must speak with the Grand Master. He's in session. They all are. Another day, perhaps. King Philip disagrees. Damn you, man. Uh-oh. Why you're not rotting in a cell at this moment, I cannot fathom. Betrayed! Draw your swords, men! Defend the temple! Not you, brother. I have a different task for you. Come with me. King Philip's moving faster than we expected. Mm. Another hand is at work here. The Pope? The assassins. Assassins? Oh. I thought the Mongol Khans broke their power decades ago. The assassins are far older than Masaya. Anarchic delusions of virulent as the plague, less easily eradicated. Well, you Templars are really better. You kill the innocents all day long, so... We will not prevail this night, but if you make haste, we may yet save our order. What must I do? Go to the tower. Take the sword and the book. Hide them. They must not fall into the assassin's hands. 
Why do I always have to hope that I can play a game? I had enough to play several in Rome. Please stop. Hold My the God. bridge! Hold! Dad, I have to take a different way. A different way? Really? Up here. Can't go there though. Let's just go down here. No, here. Intro, intro, intro to a game. I kind of like being a Templar at all. I know how to climb. I. I play a sense of before you can crawl. Stop it! Kill the assassin. He had zero life. Yeah, this is bullshit. Holy shit. Okay, that's so much very powerful at, l at all, actually. Last time I checked, Abstergo wouldn't let anyone, sh you know, know about the artifacts of Eden, so... Pretty stupid to let an employee actually watch this. Very, very stupid. Codex Parent Nectus. Okay. Yay, we did it. We was a Templar and we killed an assassin. Uh oh. Seven years later. It took seven years for them to burn him. Pope Clement, hear me? Before this year is out, you will answer for your crimes before God Almighty! And you, King Philip, no punishment is too heinous for the great evil you have inflicted upon the temple! 
I curse you! Curse you to the 13th generation of your blood! You shall be cursed! Consumed in flames of hunger and wrath, thus came the age of true wisdom to a blistering close. The Knights Templar, once the proud shepherds of order, peace, and illumination, were no more. But it didn't did it really end there, did it? Yeah, let's get a sniffer running. If Abstergo pings us, pull me out. What the hell? Okay. I have a visual. Oh. Hey there. This is probably disorienting, so I'll be brief. I'm Bishop, not my real name, obviously, but that's as much as you'll get today. Please listen carefully. Abstergo is using you, hijacking your neurons to help them sift through genetic memory data. These guys throw out their fingers in countless corporations, governments, media outlets, and NGOs. But now, they want control over history itself. If that doesn't frighten you, it should. But we're here to stop them, and I need your help. Deacon, preload gene sequence, uh, AD16, B13, I87. Yep, it up. That's Sean's voice. Last week, we gained access to a bank of unsequenced memories in Abstergo's Helix servers. For now, we'd like you to experience a small sample. This should help you understand our struggle. And after that, you can decide for yourself what comes next. We'll be waiting. All right, the loading screens. Versailles, the 27th December 1776. So it's uh, some hundred years later. Honor. Father. Courage, my boy. You wait just here. I will return when this hand reaches the top. That's forever. Not as long as all that. And when I get back, we'll see the fireworks. And Arno, no exploring, hmm? Yes, Father. Okay guys, let's see if we can actually finish up this uh, in Can one episode. Come on. I love the music in this game. <laughs> Doesn't even say I'm sorry. <laughs> away now got you now ok 
Okay. 